even though agriculture might be regarded as one of the major economic boosters to most African countries, varying ecological conditions, poor seed quality, and eventual low produce have significantly impeded its sustainability. In particular, inadequate grain production and post-harvest losses stand out as the major impediments to agricultural sustainability. That is why, in efforts to boost the beans value chain in Kenya, Kilimo Trust, through regional East African trade in Staples Phase 2 project, took upon intervention improving bean seeds for farmers to remain resilient. Bean seed uh, was a challenge. Uh, its availability was a challenge uh, based on the fact that uh, uh, beans is an OPV and uh, therefore most of the company, seed producing company are reluctant to do, uh, to do production of it. This is why the project uh, uh, took it as uh, one of the areas that uh, would unlock uh, that value chain. The demand for beans in the market was high, yet beans produced by farmers were of poor quality. This was due to farmers' inadequate access to quality seeds as a result of lack of quality bean seeds from seed companies. Egerton University have been in collaboration with Kilimo Trust for the production of uh, three bean varieties, that is Chelalang, Tasha, and Siankui. We are licensed, we are one of the licensed companies for the production of uh, Chelalang, and we have also partnered in the processing at our seed processing facility. Partnership with Egerton University and Kilimo Trust has enabled us to bulk the to be able to bulk the, the bean seed. Uh, previously, we did not have uh, bean seed in the market. Even for us, we did not uh, produce any bean seed. But this partnership has enabled us to at least get some volumes. Kilimo Trust has intervened by linking farmers with Egerton University in bean seed multiplication. Key areas that uh, we also feel very proud of, particularly here in Kenya, is the working relationship that we have developed with the say, research institute, institutions, for instance, Egerton University, and particularly the Anglo Science Park uh, seed unit. Uh, this particular uh, university has been very key to us, particularly in one of the commodities that we've been dealing with under REACT. One of the activities that we've engaged uh, with Climo Trust was to do seed production and commercialization in Akuru County, in Nandi, and also in Mazingishu through a bid project that they, we negotiated with them and they gave us responsibility of producing seed, contracting farmers, building the capacity of farmers, because there's a difference between producing seed and producing grain. And since we have good bean varieties, three of them called Chelalang, Tasha and Shangui, Kilimo Trust uh, agreed with us that they are suitable for the highlands of the rift. And therefore, we went out and um, had an agreement. We contracted farmers, registered them with cafes, uh, trained them on how to produce seed, not grain and also gave them breeder seed for certified seed for production. And this covered quite a number of farmers and several groups. The intervention led to the diversification of bean seeds that are suitable to different climate areas in Kenya. The collaboration between uh, Kilimo Trust and Egerton uh, University uh, will help a lot in the increasing the quantity of uh, seed that's available. Uh, this is due to the, uh, th that collaboration has enabled them to, to, to diversify the areas of production in a wide area. Uh, as you realize, bean production is very challenging, especially uh, the weather conditions. So for you to be able to get uh, enough quantities, you require a diverse uh, production in diverse areas, such that if one area is not able to produce enough quantities, you can still be able to get varieties in other areas. And that way, there will be enough seed available for the farmers because if there's uh, enough production of seed, then that means more farmers are able to access a uh, certified bean seed. This intervention in the beans value chain has led to tremendous benefit to farmers due to production of bean seeds that conforms to both climate and topography of where they are grown, leading to a bumper harvest. <laughs> 
lakini ile mambo sana nimeweka mkazo sana kulima ni maharagwe hapo awali kwa njia ilikuwa tunatumia kupanda maharagwe ilipuka napata gunia tatu gunia tatu kienda sana kwa ekari moja lakini saa hii napata kwa ekari moja kupitia kilimo tulasi kufanya vile walituambia napata ikiwa kidogo sana ni e, e, gunia nane lakini napata mpaka 14 bags per acre kwa hivyo kwa upande wa mapato ni kitu inanisaidia mpaka unaweza fundisha naye mtoto na tena juu ya hiyo hii maharagu utapanda mara mbili na ya tatu una, una, unaweka kitu kingine kwa hivyo ni mzuri kuliko vile wanilipata wamenipeleka juu na nikawa hata mimi sikii sipandi mahindi siku hizi mimi ni maharagu peke yake sponsor wana tulisponsor wana Krimos Plus eh baka ungana pamoja na baka pitia Ichaton Ichaton baka tuletea hiyo maharagwe tukabanda kubanda hiyo maharagwe mwaka ya kwanza nilipata unia 24 mwaka wa kwanza nikaona hiyo maharagwe kufanya mbaya ngawache ilikuwa na chua lakini nilipata e rafika mwaka wa pili tena kilimo stress baka tutembelea tukapata mbegu nyingine tukaweka tena ngalima eka kumi. sasa nilikuwa nimefurahi sana ngalima eka kumi. nikapata gunia gunia misini na sita. sasa nkaona hiyo maharagwe ni safi sana na ikanisaidia sana nkanunua masini ya kusiaga chakula ya ngombe bia hiyo maharagwe nisisahau ilikuwa ni chakula tena ya ngombe ile e, miti yake yenye ilivakia tulipata kusiagia ngombe pia nkanunua ngombe kanunua ngombe ya masiwa tukaona ni kitu ya maana sana Mwanzo nyuma tulikuwa hatuna mambo ya ukulima hata tulikuwa kilima maharagwe hii ya karoko ya kawaida na ilikuwa haina soko ni kitu tena nalima na kuwa tena naanza kwenda kujitabutia soko baadaye tulipofata fahamu ya kujua kwamba kuna maharagwe ambayo inatoka e, Ichaton tukapewa na watu wa Ichaton pia na tukaongea wakatuongeza juu ya hii maharagwe ambayo inaitwa kalala Ah tulipo funswa tukaanza tukapewa hiyo mbego tukaanzisha hii mambo ya ukulima wa maharagwe Mwaka wa kwanza tulipata maharagwe vizuri na maharagwe Mungu akatujalia na maharagwe kaiva vizuri sana Tukafuna maharagwe mpaka mwisho tulitoa hapa kitu maharagwe kama tani nane Na uzuri wa hii maharagwe haya tuligundua tukasema ni kwamba sisi wenyewe tuende kujitabutia soko. Hii maharagwe wenyewe inaleta soko yenyewe. Tukaona hii ni maharagwe ambayo imetupa faida sana. Ambaye kafurahisha kila mtu. Bean seed multiplication has led to increase in demand of certified bean seeds over the years. Kilimo Trust has really assisted our farmers especially uh, uh, me as an, an extension officer in achieving the mandate of the of the Ministry of Agriculture one of the objectives of the Ministry of Agriculture is to ensure food security and commercialization the coming of Kilimo Trust with, even with the agro dealers they are saying the the demand for certified seed has gone up in fact 2020 there was no certified seeds Uh, around the the, the, the agrovets around especially with the chelalang and and uh, glp2 the the demand went so high that they were not able to supply but one of the agro dealers was telling us we don't know where farmers are getting this idea of nowadays we have to to place orders and orders and orders of certified seeds that is because of kilimo trust so basically number one one of the the, the most achievement that Kilimo Trust has made is creating that demand for certified seed of beans. Another thing is the aggregation. Now at least the groups we have trained and other groups that we did not target they are now aggregating beans. 
you see uh, basically the beans we were the beans uh, around here were coming from from Busia of course from Busia it's, it's from Uganda but now I've, I have a, uh, I have a school called Ngechek the the trader who has been supplying them with beans has been getting the beans from Busia Uganda but nowadays the farmers around uh, they are able to produce this seed uh, the, this bean and able to sell to the school that is just one of the schools but many schools around but initially the, the, the demand was higher than the farmers could produce the intervention of kilimo trust has led to a significant upturn in the income index of about 5 million worth of beans produced which has had a parallel impact on the livelihood of the farmers and uh, we are so thankful to kilimo trust for mobilizing all the trainings uh, since it was the, the input, overall pressuring uh, agricultural officer and the uh, Edgerton University. Some of our successes, which we have uh, benefited from uh, the Climate Trust and Edgerton University, like I myself, I, I managed to put my input in my new house, so I can confidently say that I benefited from bean seed production since we, we had a red market and our payment was made right on time and in full amount. The linkages between Egerton University and farmers in diversifying of bean seed is among the success that has been recorded and a pertinent lesson to replicate for the continued growth of the bean value chain in Kenya. The project was fairly successful. With beans, more than 90% of the seed was certified and around 10% of the seed was rejected by CAFIS for reasons that uh, range between poor management and some farmers also did in that cropping. Uh, despite the fact that they had been trained that seed production uh, requires a pure uh, stand, planting this, the beans alone. But uh, we managed to aggregate through a strong one of the strongest cooperatives for women called Cheptarit. Uh, women group which contracted the farmers on our behalf we signed a contract with them and they aggregated the seeds and we paid them up to 2.5 million shillings for large quantities of seed that they brought to us so we look forward to some continued collaboration uh, and uh, we hope um, their capacity in linking farmers to markets in the East Africa region is going to benefit us a lot.